now we are going to see about cranial nerves so we have totally 12 pairs of cranial nerves what is what are cranial nerves cranial nerves are nothing but a peripheral component of the brain means the nerves coming out of a brain totally we have 12 pairs of cranial nerves so all the cranial nerves are denoted with the roman number in this picture you can able to see the roman number along with that we have the cranial nerve names for all the 12 pairs always the number will denote the same name there is no any disproportionation with the names and the numbers always the first cranial nerve means olfactory second is optic third is oculomotor likewise every number has its own name next first olfactory nerve the first cranial nerve so it is sensory nerve functions for smell origin olfactory receptor of the nerve cells opening to the skull opening in the cribriform plate of ethmoid so we all know that the cranial nerves means emerging from the brain so from the brain it has to cross the skull so in the skull we have the openings so from each and every opening the nerves will be coming out of the skull and being supplying to the receptors next so in this picture you can able to see this is the cribriform plate of ethmoid through this the olfactory nerves will come out next optic nerve the second cranial nerve so it is also sensory and functions for vision origin back of the eyeball and opening to the skull is optic canal so this is the nerve which is coming from the back of the eyeball in this picture it is clear next oculomotor the third cranial nerve so it is also a motor nerve raises the upper eyelid turns the eyeball upward downward and medially constrict the pupil accommodates the eye so origin is anterior surface of the midbrain opening to the skull is superior orbital fissure so this is the nerve yellow component of the nerve which supplies to the muscles of the eyeball because of that only we are, we can able to move the eyeball upward downward and medially next trochlear nerve the fourth cranial nerve it is also a motor nerve assisting in turning the eyeball downward and laterally because it supplies to only single muscle which we call it a superior oblique muscle origin is posterior surface of the midbrain opening of the skull is superior orbital fissure so in this picture it is seen that yellow part is the nerve which is supplying to the single muscle superior oblique muscle trigeminal nerve so the name itself say trigeminal which is coming from three nerves ophthalmic nerve maxillary nerve and mandibular nerve all the three combinedly will form the fifth cranial nerve so in this picture it is clear that this is the ophthalmic zone maxillary zone and mandibular zone so we'll see one by one so ophthalmic nerve which is sensory in nature so it functions sensory supply to cornea skin of the forehead scalp eyelids and nose mucous membrane of paranasal sinuses and nasal cavity origin anterior aspect of the pons opening of the skull is superior orbital fissure so it is purely sensory next so in this picture it is clear the yellow component is nothing but ophthalmic portion of the trigeminal nerve next maxillary nerve which is also sensory in nature so it functions as skin of the face over the maxilla teeth of the upper jaw mucous membrane of the nose and maxillary sinus and palate origin is anterior aspect of the pons opening of the skull is from foramen ovale so this yellow component is the maxillary nerve mandibular this is the only component which is motor in nature functions is muscles of mastication mylohyoid anterior belly of digastric muscle tensor veli palatine tensor tympani origin is anterior aspect of the pons opening of the skull is foramen rotundum so again we have the skin it also sensory component is also present in the mandibular nerve functions as skin of the cheek skin over the mandible and side of the head teeth of the lower jaw and temporomandibular joint mucous membrane of mouth and anterior part of the tongue so the origin is anterior aspect of the pons and opening of the skull is foramen rotundum so this yellow component will denote as the mandibular nerve which has both sensory as well as the motor component all the three together we call it as fifth cranial nerve it is trigeminal in nature coming to sixth cranial nerve abducens ab means away from the body so it moves the eyeball away from the midline so that's why we call it as abducens nerve so this is the motor nerve functions lateral it supplies only single muscle which we call it as lateral rectus muscle turns the eyeball laterally origin is medulla oblongata opening to the skull is superior orbital fissure so this is the yellow yellow component you can see this supplies only single muscle which is lateral rectus muscle 
Next, facial nerve, the seventh cranial nerve. So, which is a mixed nerve functions. The motor component is muscles of face and scalp, stapedius muscle, posterior belly of digastric, stylohyoid muscles. Coming to the sensory part, it supplies to anterior two-third of the tongue, forming the floor of the mouth and palate. Functions. Secretomotor. It supplies to submandibular and sublingular salivary glands, lacrimal gland and glands of nose and palate. Origin is medulla oblongata. Opening to the skull, internal acoustic meatus, facial canal and stylomastoid foramen. So, this is the part of the facial nerve coming and its branches. Next, vestibulocochlear nerve. This is the 8th cranial nerve. So, which has two components, vestibular and cochlear. Vestibular is for balancing and cochlear is for hearing. We also call it as statoacoustic nerve. So, it is sensory nerve. Vestibular part is from saculae, semicircular canals. Pos positioning of the head is being decided by this vestibular nerve. Cochlear, organ of corti, it is purely for hearing. Origin is medulla oblongata. Opening to the skull is internal acoustic meatus. So, this is the vestibular part and this is the cochlear part. Together, we call it as 8th cranial nerve, vestibulocochlear nerve. Next, glossopharyngeal nerve, the ninth cranial nerve. Glosso means tongue, pharynx. So, it supplies to both tongue as well as pharynx. Because of that, we call it as glossopharyngeal nerve. It is also a mixed nerve and the motor component is for stylopharyngeal muscles assist in swallowing. Function, sensory is the general sensations of the taste, the posterior one-third of the tongue and pharynx of cortex sinus and carotid body is being supplied by the sensory portion. Function secretomotor or parotid gland. So, origin is medulla oblongata and opening to the skull is jugular foramen. So, this is the glossopharyngeal nerve which supplies to both tongue as well as for the pharynx. Next, vagus nerve. Vagus means wandering. So, it is the longest cranial nerve in the whole cranial nerves. It is the 10th cranial nerve. So, it is motor in nature. It supplies to heart and great thoracic blood vessels, larynx, trachea, bronchi and lungs. Elementary tract from pharynx to splenic flexure of the colon, liver, kidney as well as to the pancreas. Origin is medulla oblongata. Opening to the skull is from jugular foramen. So, it also will form a component of the parasympathetic nervous system. So, functions as rest and digest. Next, accessory nerve. So, this is also pure motor nerve. We also call it a spinal accessory nerve. So, which is very near to the spinal cord. So, this is the 11th cranial nerve. So, this is motor. The cranial root is muscles of soft palate except for tensor valley palatini. So, muscles of pharynx except for stylopharyngeus. Muscles of larynx except for cricothyroid. So, spinal root is for, it supplies to two muscles, sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle. Origin is medulla oblongata. Opening to the skull is through jugular foramen. So, uh, this is the accessory nerve. Next, hypoglossal. Hypo means below, glossal means tongue. It supplies to the lower part of the tongue. So, the sensory part of the tongue is being supplied by glossopharyngeal and facial nerve. So, the motor part of the tongue, so the tongue is muscle. Because of that, the motor part is being supplied by hypoglossal nerve, the 12th cranial nerve. So, component it is motor nerve. So, muscles of the tongue, except for palatoglossal, controlling its shapes and movement. Origin is medulla oblongata. And opening of the skull is hypoglossal canal. So, in this picture, you can able to see. So, this is the hypo, this, this is the nerve which is coming, hypoglossal nerve, which is coming and supplies to the muscle of the tongue. Thank you. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.